nothing under heaven is more pliable than water. But when amassed, there is nothing on earth that can withstand its force. That the soft overcomes the hard, and the yielding conquers the rigid, is a fact known to all men, yet utilized by none. Tai Chi Chuan applies the power of fluidity to ease man's struggle for existence. Tai Chi Chuan is the classic Chinese exercise for health, self-defense, and spiritual growth. Graceful in movement, slow in tempo, relaxed and fluid in beautiful natural postures, Tai Chi is meditation in movement, practiced throughout the world for its many great health benefits. For many centuries, Western visitors to China have been intrigued at seeing Chinese of all ages engaged in this slow, apparently effortless, calm and beautiful exercise. Emphasizing relaxation, breath control, visual and mental concentration, and slow, balanced movement, Tai Chi Chuan imparts great health benefits. Improved posture, circulation, metabolism, and neuromuscular functioning, as well as accelerated healing of disease. The Chinese say that those who practice Tai Chi will achieve the pliability of a child, the vitality of a lumberjack, and the wisdom of a sage. The title Tai Chi Chuan means the Grand Terminus Boxing. The Grand Terminus, also sometimes translated as the Supreme Limit, does not claim Tai Chi's invincibility, but it is rather a concept in an ancient Chinese philosophy known as Taoism, describing the process by which energy is transformed in the universe. This universal energy is depicted by the popular yin-yang symbol, called the Tai Chi Tu, in which two polar opposite forces are in a perpetual, interpenetrating, and balancing relationship. In the land that cradled the martial arts of the world, and in a culture known for understatement and modesty, the title Tai Chi Chuan also implies that no other art is more refined or profound in its oneness with the laws of nature. The Asian martial arts have been adopted by the West primarily for physical exercise and self-defense. But Tai Chi Chuan is like no other method of martial art or gymnastic exercise. Other Asian martial arts, such as Karate, Judo, and Kung Fu, emphasize powerful linear movements, heavy-fisted strikes, and acrobatic kicks, all motivated by brusque muscular compression and dynamic tension. Tai Chi Chuan's movements are, in contrast, circular, relaxed, fluid, and rooted to the earth, but are extremely powerful just the same. Progress in Tai Chi depends not on outer strength, but on inner awareness to control subtle energy flows of the body. Thus, Tai Chi is known as an internal martial art. Whereas most forms of Western exercise focus on outer movements and the development of the body, Tai Chi Chuan develops both mind and body through its integrative principles. Tai Chi practice harmonizes breath, physical movement, mental concentration, and visual focus to cultivate one's internal intrinsic energy, or life force, which the Chinese call Qi. Diligent practice brings about understanding of Qi and its profound value, that of conquering the unyielding with the yielding. Tai Chi Chuan's technique, mechanics, and physiology are rooted in the principles of Taoism, a timeless philosophy from China based on living and acting in accord with nature's cyclical patterns of change. Tai Chi is one method of developing structural sensitivity to all-encompassing nature, which the Chinese call Tao, or the Way. Within every movement of Tai Chi is the principle of yin and yang, which is action based on the awareness of implicit unity within all apparent opposites, positive and negative, full and empty, dark and light, hard and soft. 
Thus, in Tai Chi practice, one manifests stillness within activity. The entire body is relaxed. Breathing is deepened and quiet as in meditation. And each movement is performed with full concentration. The integration of mind and body, which comes from diligent practice, eventually leads to deeper self-understanding, a greater awareness of life, and the wherewithal to act appropriately in any situation. In contrast to the violent machismo image that has been popularized by sensational B-movies, the mark of true martial excellence, according to the Taoist sage Sun Tzu, is to win without fighting. With the clarity of mind that comes from spiritual growth combined with physical prowess, the true warrior can defeat an opponent's strategy before violence occurs. Tai Chi Chuan and the art of war as it has been handed down through the ages is most essentially an art of peace. Now step forward with your left foot to about two shoulders width apart and continue circling side to side with your feet parallel. Again, I want to reemphasize these five basic principles of Tai Chi. Number one, complete relaxation. Two, separate yin and yang. Three, turn the waist. Remember that turning the waist is almost always simultaneous with the weight shift. Four, keep the back straight. And five, beautiful lady's wrist. Remember also that circling is the most important exercise outside of the solo form itself. Now cross your right hand in front of the left, center yourself over your legs, sit in this wide Wu Chi position, which is also known as the horse riding stance. Knees over your ankles, shoulders over your hips, back straight, Breathing calm, deep, and relaxed. From here, I turn the waist, circle the arms, centering the right foot inward, shifting forward, stepping out into another white crane spreads wings. I turn the waist, Circle the arms, center left foot to the right, bring hand to the ear, step out left, and do another brush, left knee, push right. We begin Fair Ladies Works the Shuttles from the single whip. Shift and turn right, swing left arm down, Turn in your left toes and bring your left hand to your right elbow. Sit back on your left foot, open your right hook. Step right foot, normal. Hold the ball, turn your right palm towards your face. Shift forward to the right leg. Step left 45 degrees to the corner. Touch the heel down. Slowly shift forward. Lock up left hand, push out right. Your left hand is at forehead level. Your right palm is at chin level. If you were to bring your hand straight back, you would frame your face like so. Remember to keep your back straight and hips squared. Next, roll back to the right, shifting and turning, holding the ball. Turn left toes inward, weight to the right foot. 
Sit back on your left leg, sit. Bring in your right foot and center. Then step right to the corner, touching the heel down. Point the right foot 45 degrees to the second corner. Shift slowly, block up with the right hand. Turn the waist, push left palm forward. Both hands lined up with your center line. Next, roll back, hold the ball. Step right foot to the normal. Shift forward. Step out left, get shoulders width. Shift to the left bow stance. And the third, Fair Lady works the shuttle. From single whip, we do high pat the horse, just as we did in the second third. Shift forward, right hand to the ear, left palm up. Try not to rise, stay low, stay rooted in your left hip. Sit back, turn the waist, extend the right palm. Next, take a wide step with the left foot. Shift forward, jab with the left palm. This is called white snake spits out the tongue. Next, we shift back to the right leg. Cover ourselves as we sit on our left again. Open the arms block. Kick with the right heel at waist level. Keep your right hand at shoulder level, left hand at head level. Relax all your abdominal muscles. Put the right foot down. Turn the waist, block with the left hand forward. Center. Your left hand circles downward clockwise as you step out. Brush the knee and do a low punch. Remember on the low punch, keep your left knee over the toes, your tailbone down, and your punching right forearm is parallel to your left thigh. Bring both hands to the left, left palm down, right palm up. Turn, step behind you with the left foot, twist out. Hold your hands at solar plexus level. Then we do a horizontal kick, circling the hip, knee, and ankle clockwise. As the foot comes down, bring your hands in, left above right. Step out right 45 degrees. Shift, turn the waist, circle the arms. Block up with the right arm, forming a fist. Turn the waist, circle left fist outward. This is shoot tiger with bow. You're sitting in a right bow stance, facing 45 degrees, but your upper body and the fists are 90 degrees across your stance. Your right fist is at your temple. Your left fist extends out from your rib area. 